Let's look at sector area today. And the way we're going to do that is just by looking at what we might see if we go out to get a slice of pizza with some of our friends. So if we go to the pizza place and we get a large pizza, a lot of times that might be like a 12 inch pizza and they're talking about the diameter. So what the, what is that going to look like if we're talking about each slice? So that's kind of the idea today is how much area or how much pizza do you actually get if you're going to split it with some friends? So if we go to the pizza place, we get a large pizza, 12 inch diameter pizza. So we know the radius of that pizza is going to be six inches. So we could find the area of the whole pizza or how much pizza we're actually getting. So the way I could do that is pi r squared. So I get the area is equal to pi times six squared. So or really the area of this pizza we're getting is 36 pi inches squared, where we always, we always take the area or the unit we get and we're squaring that as well. So now let's imagine, okay, we're only going with two friends. So we, we're going out to pizza and we're going with a couple of our friends. If we're only going with two friends, how much of the pizza are you going to get? Well, <clears throat> you're probably going to get a half a pizza, right? So the other half of the pizza, you'd cut it down the, the other half, right? And now all of a sudden we would get this half a pizza, but that half a pizza would look like this here, where it would look like we're getting this whole half is ours. Well, yesterday we had talked about, well, in a couple days ago, we had talked about arc length and arc measure. And so arc length would have been like, okay, how much crust do you get? And arc measure talks about what is the actual angle we would have cut this on. Well, if it's half, you would have cut it on a 180 degree angle. So the way we can find the area of the shaded region, and that's a lot of times how it's going to ask you this question, is first we have to find out what fraction of the pizza you're going to get. Well, if you're getting half the pizza, right, we take the angle you're cutting on, so or the measure of that arc, so 180 degrees, and we divide it by what's the measure of the whole pizza. Well, the whole pizza would be 360 degrees. And then we're going to multiply that by the area of the whole thing. So by the 36 pi that we found earlier. Well, if I do that in my calculator, right, I can actually find that number. So 36 or 180 divided by 360 times 36, you get 18. So the actual amount of the shaded area or the amount of pizza that you're getting is 18 pi inches squared. Well, remember that that by pi, all that is, is just saying 18 times approximately 3.14. So it's actually a number. So what if we look at this a different way? So now you're not just going with you and one friend, you're going with you and four friends. So, or you, you and your friends is four total people. So now you're only getting a fourth of the pi. So that angle now cuts down to Okay, so our new shaded area is just this area, but we know that that new angle is going to be 90, right? Because if you divide 360 by 90, that's one fourth. And if I went with four friends, you're getting a fourth of the pizza. Well, again, you just multiply that by the whole pizza. And so we would get, you know, one fourth of 36. Right? And so that's kind of the whole idea here is we're trying to find what percentage of the whole pizza you're getting. And it depends how you do it, right? Because right now we're using nice clean numbers that are getting us good things. But what we'll see in a second is what happens if we go with different groups of friends. So the last one to look at here, what if all of a sudden we're going with something like the number of friends here. And now for some reason, we only cut these pizzas into 40 degree sections. So we cut it into 40 degrees. So now you're only getting this blue part of the pizza because you brought more people, you're getting less and less pizza, right? So the area you are now getting, if we look at the blue shaded area, okay, you would get, oh, well, the 40 degrees over 360 times the area, which we know to be 36 pi of that whole pizza. Well, if you look at 40 divided by 360, you know, you're only getting about 11% of the pizza. 
So you would do that 40 over 360 times the 36, and it comes out to 4 pi. So you're still getting a nice even number of the pizza, which that won't, that won't always happen. But for right there, that's kind of how it was. So you're saying, okay, we could do this with pizza. We could do this with anything. But the idea is how much now area and am I getting? So it's very similar to arc length, but arc length only talked about how much crust you would get, where now sector area is talking about how much of the whole pizza you would get. So if we just look at this and kind of come up with an idea, so if we say for sector area, the area of the shaded region, which in this case was how much, how much area is my piece of pizza, we say it's the arc measure, which again, that's just the angle. So it's the arc measure divided by 360, which is always the total circle. And we're just going to multiply that by A of the total. So the A of the total circle. So when you have that, that's all we're looking for is we're looking for, you need to find the area of the total and you multiply that by the arc measure over 360.